I want to go to my buddy Charlie Gasparino, who's out in Sun Valley, Idaho, alleged, allegedly doing work where he can update us now on, on where this uh, rollout stands. Sir. Uh, you know, listen, it's beautiful here. I I'm, I'm, I hope you're eating your heart out back there in New York. The weather is perfect, not a cloud in the sky. And uh, we're having a lot of fun here. And we're also breaking a lot of news. Listen, there's a lot of people here that are very plugged into what's going on in Washington. We should point out that Ivanka Trump, Jared Kushner are here. Uh, and here's some of the things that we're hearing in terms of legislatively what what is going on as Trump is dealing with major controversies surrounding the Russian influence in the 2016 election. There is some talk once again about combining t and tr they're trying to get the, a dual bill through that combines something with health care and something with with tax with tax cuts. We do know that yesterday, before President Trump went out to went to France, uh, he was meeting with some of his economic advisors on taxes and may, and how to push this thing through. Uh, you know, the impression that we're getting from some of these uh, people in the White House that are telling us about these meetings is that he's looking at the, at, at his at his sort of domestic reforms, health care and reforming health care, getting rid of Obamacare and reforming it, and getting the tax cuts through, Neil, as a way of changing the dialogue about uh, what's going on in uh, regarding the Russian probe and his son and, and uh, these, the, 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 uh, the, the legal mess that, that, is, that is engulfing the administration right now. So there's some activity, some significant activity behind the scenes in doing that. We understand that Mike Pence is going to take a play a major role in pushing some sort of a health care bill through Congress to get that done. And, uh, you know, as much as people think Mitch McConnell has a lot of stroke in Congress, which he does in, in the Senate, which he does, obviously, as the Senate majority leader, apparently McConnell, uh, Mike Pence, has a lot, of, a lot of stroke with more conservative members. And he might even be able to bring them in to, into some compromise. So that's the sort of frenetic activity that's going on behind the scenes. It's a dual track, it looks like. It looks like it's getting something done through through health care it looks like they're also talking about these these tax cuts particularly that corporate tax cut right. which keeps which which the market is relying on which is why the markets have been up uh, there is a there is a thought inside the Trump administration that if they can focus on the domestic agenda they can take heat off of the of the scandal and you know the markets actually agree with that if you look at it the markets yeah. aren't imploding no by any stretch of the imagination no so is it your sense so Charlie that's that, what we're that, hearing I'm sorry buddy uh, real quickly this uh, notion that uh, they are very confident that the, this will pass, something will pass, uh, because the president is sort of throwing the hammer down in this interview with Robertson yesterday, in which he said, I'd be very angry if they don't, if they don't do that. Um, how serious are they taking that, that this is not the nice president says, well, we'll do our best? I mean, what do they think of that? You know, I think they look at it like this. They, they see this as a crisis point in the Trump administration right now. I mean, you know, listen, there's a lot of smoke. There's no gun on this, on this Russian business, but it is taking up a tremendous amount of time. One way, and, and, and tons of political energy, okay? One way to change the narrative is to focus on the domestic agenda, which, you know, st you know it's nothing like saying the stock market likes my uh, domestic agenda. It's, mm. it's, a, it's a sort of affirmation. And I think that's what's going on, and that's why you see a renewed emphasis to get get the tax cuts through, get the uh, get get some health care bill through, uh, and you're seeing it be and it, it's mainly behind the scenes, but it's frenetic activity among his senior advisors, people like Pence, the vice president, Gary Cohn, the head of the NEC, Steve Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary, and a lot of others. I mean, that's what I'm that's what I'm hearing. I'm getting it from good sources, and uh, you know, I, I'll tell you, Neil, if there was if there's anything, you know, you know, Donald Trump actually does better when he's under the gun. And, you know, he's under the yeah, gun right now. now. So yeah. maybe we'll see this thing happen. All maybe right. we'll see this happen. All right. Thank you, buddy, very, very much.